Hey fools, Big T back with another one. In this video, I'm trying to make it as short as possible. Just gonna quickly talk about some things dealing with the Nintendo Switch. First up is native voice chat on the Switch, um, which, you know, doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, I guess I'm surprised that it was found out, but I always knew that the Switch could do native voice chat. And that was one of my biggest frustrations with the fact that they decided to go with this kind of wonky uh, cell phone based app thing, which was weird. And it was just, it was another thing that was weird. There was a lot of people I was talking about the fact that it wasn't on there natively because the Switch couldn't handle it, <laughs> which I thought was the stupidest thing of all time because uh, how can the Switch not handle native voice chat when the DS could in 2006? So you're saying the Switch is less powerful than the DS or less powerful than the 3DS or less powerful than the uh, PlayStation Vita? Um, is that what you're saying? Uh, or less powerful than the Xbox 360 or PS3, which is clearly more powerful than those consoles. Um, uh, so it just never made sense for people to go with the power aspect. I just think that was a hater thing where people uh, want to, you know, kind of poo-poo the, the uh, power of the Switch, which is the, another stupid thing because it's just overlooking how awesome it is to have console quality games that you can take with you like of course because of the form factor it's not going to be as powerful as the current consoles uh because you know they require more power draw um and in heat dissipation like it obviously it's not going to be able to do that in its form factor they went over they went for form factor over uh power because uh it just it makes more sense it makes the console more appealing as you can see from the sales but that was you know that just never made any sense um and i just uh you know people are talking about the reasoning for it and they just wanted to make restrictions to protect people which is ridiculous if nintendo is still doing that um but it's the only the reason that makes sense because if the console can do voice chat natively why not just do that instead of do this thing that you know was gonna annoy the hell out of a lot of people uh so there's that but um mainly what i wanted to talk about um is uh vr for switch uh, i think they talked about it way back when they first revealed switch there was articles uh there's interviews with uh uh nintendo talking about what they uh, what their ideas were for VR and all that. And uh, I made this little folder way back then, um, you know, because I wanted to talk about ideas for it. But then I, a couple months ago, I want to say, I found these really cool, like, um, uh, mock-ups of uh, Nintendo Switch VR, which I'm going to be showing you here in the video. So check those out. I thought they were really well done, really clean. They looked really authentic. It looked like really good um, press kit stuff that you would see. Um, and I thought it looked really good. So I wanted to talk about that a while ago. I just never got around to it, but now it makes uh, perfect sense or is a good time to talk about it because of, uh, they found, I also found some, uh, I guess, uh, code work or coding in the switch itself for VR, um, recently. And I'm, you know, I, I never was in on VR. I'm still not in on it because first of all uh the form factor and the cost is just too much for the, a the average consumer and uh you have to go out if you have a console you have to go out and buy the headset which is sometimes <laughs> as as expensive if not more expensive than your console and you gotta ha you gotta buy the the later version of the consoles like you have to be basically you need to get a a uh for for the PlayStation side, you you want to get uh, a PlayStation 4 Pro to get the best results. And on, I don't know about Xbox, they don't they don't really have a headset yet, but I think there's talks about them uh, doing one or making one now, Microsoft. Um, and then obviously on the PC, you have to have a decent rig, and then you have to buy the peripherals. You have to buy the the headset and all that stuff to get the you know get everything you want but you know even then it's it's it uh, vr just isn't there yet and it's definitely not there for games i feel um it's 
pretty much a gimmick for video games. It doesn't really add to video games. It's kind of like 3D and movies, you know? It doesn't really add to it. It's just kind of a gimmick that can be fun. It, like, I like to go to certain th- certain movies for 3D. Um, you know, mostly uh, effects-driven movies, big effects movies. Um, like, I loved Avatar uh, in 3D. Um, to me, that was just a great experience. So, I am not against vr in that aspect i think it's a pretty cool application that you can do some really cool stuff with um i'm just not sold on it for video games but if you can make it viable enough you know and it's not too intrusive and it's not too expensive i'll check it out you know for a video game platform and so when the switch came out i always thought oh well damn it already has the screen you know you can take the whole switch screen And basically, it's small enough to where you can slide it down into some kind of a headset. Um, Not unlike the Samsung VR, where you have this little piece that you slide your phone into and wear it on your head. And it's like, that is pretty good. Um, You know, and one of the hindrances is that the Switch's uh, screen is only 720p. But like I said... Like, it doesn't have to be amazing, perfect VR for to work for me. It just has to be doable, good, good enough, enough of a fun little side distraction gimmick to where I would check it out. And I feel like the form factor of the Switch is perfect for it because, one, it comes with the screen, so you don't have to buy anything extra as far as that big hardware piece that you need. Um, and it comes with, you know, basically um, the the best video game controllers for VR which are the Joy-Cons. Um, Cause I think back, sometime back when they were talking about the Joy-Cons, somebody compared them to, oh my gosh, what are they called? I'm gonna throw it up on the screen cause I can't think of the name of the this particular VR uh, setup, but it, it was compared to that um, instead of, cause people were trying to compare it to Wii remotes, but it was, you know, some guy was like, no, it's more like um, this VR uh, setup. So that was cool. So I always thought that was great. So all you really need is the mirror glasses part to split up the image and give you that whole 3D look, which wouldn't be that expensive. You know, it should be easily under a hundred bucks. And if that's all I got to spend to get the headset part, um, I already have the screen, which is the switch. And I already have the VR controllers, which are the, um, which are the, uh, the, um, Damn, what they call it? Uh, really, dude? Which are the uh, Joy-Cons. So, you know, you have basically everything there for the console itself. Just one little peripheral purchase, peripheral pur- purchase that wouldn't be that expensive. And then you can have some VR stuff. And I would totally be down for that. Where I, w- I don't want to spend three, four, five hundred dollars on VR stuff on my PC or PS4, um, eighty dollars, a hundred bucks for something to give me uh, a decent uh, VR situation. That would be cool. And you, you know, you, you can make certain games. Uh, Nintendo was really good at making like mini games and stuff uh, that would be that would serve VR well. And you can have this little mini game collection of VR titles that you can do these cool little things with puzzle type games. And you have all, everything you need except for the, like the strap, basically the strap and the harness with the the uh, lenses on it. And to me, that is cool. And like I said, look, you know, check check out checking out these uh, these mockups that somebody did. I wish I could remember where I saw these. I would totally give credit, but it was so long ago, I can't remember what what website or what article I pulled these off of. But you know, it just looks sexy as hell. <laughs> like it looks very appealing. Um, and I think Nintendo should do this, uh, but don't worry about this until like, you know, uh, mid to late next year, you know, keep getting that install base up, keep bringing really cool games and, uh, worry about this stuff later. So let me know what you guys think. I think this is a really cool idea. Nintendo should definitely do VR, um, because they have the, they have the best starting point of any of the companies to do VR without asking the consumer to spend too much money or have to deal with a thousand wires and all this kind of stuff it is very uh the switch is already very in tune to that just, this little console man is something else i tell you it's a very exciting little piece of tech and then, uh, unfortunately some 
people just don't appreciate what it is for what it is because they you know all they care about you know is high the highest individuals and i don't i'm not even sure if they care about that i think that's just a fanboy thing uh so they can discredit the nintendo console i think that's just a fanboy thing so they can oh well it's not relevant enough for me because of the power uh just not just ignoring how great that form factor is but anyway yeah let me know what you guys think about this vr thing uh or the voice chat thing in the comments below i'd like to get your thoughts on that and uh thank you as always for watching and listening and i'll see you fools next time peace out oh yeah one more thing play nintendo fools Dude.